Ladies and gentlemen, hello and welcome to Unit Lost. I am Stylosa and welcome to this awesome Brigitte guide. In this video, what we're going to do is explain how to play this hero because she is about to hit the live Overwatch servers. One thing I want to say straight away, she is not a main tank. Do not use this hero as a substitute for Orissa, Reinhardt, or Winston. She is not a tank in that respect. She's kind of like a flex tank, so you can use her instead of maybe a Zarya or a Diva or something like that. But she wants to get involved in a fight because she wants to heal her team, but she is not a primary tank. Like, you can't use her to hold down choke points. I'm I'm having nightmares, guys, because I know this is going to happen. People are going to be like, oh, we've got an, we've got a, uh, I was going to say an Orissa, we've got a, a, a Brigitte, it's going to be fine. She's just going to hold the choke. No, she will instantly die. Right, first thing we're going to do here is go her over her ability so let's talk about inspire this is it is her area of effect heal so think of like a lucio heal only this is radically different but think of lucio's heal right so it's got an area of effect around him this is kind of the same thing however it's wildly different right and why is it wildly different well the way this works is it heals 16 health per second in a 20 meter radius for five seconds and it's got a 1.5 second cooldown now, the way to cause this to actually go off is you have to hit somebody with the mace. You have to smash them with the flail, hit them in the head with a rocket flail, and this causes the heal to go off. Now, there are some key things you need to know about this. It only affects allies if they're within the 20 meter range like it's not like lucio where lucio's amping it up and you're not inside lucio's heal range and then you can run into it and then you'll get healed this isn't like that when she hits somebody in like combat and you're within 20 meters of her you will start getting the heal you cannot walk into it after she's hit somebody and benefit from the heal also you cannot heal enemies uh, you cannot heal allies, sorry, behind an enemy barrier. So if Winston drops a big bubble down on top of you, um, you're not going to be healing people outside of that bubble. So that can kind of screw you up a little bit. Uh, so that's pretty much Inspire. The one thing you've got to remember with this is it only works when you hit people. And this is a passive ability. This isn't something you turn on. She just does this all of the time. So when you're involved in a fight, swinging your mace around, you will just be healing, passively healing everybody around you, which is, which is cool. And this is basically her primary source of healing at the end of the game. It's not her burst healing, but we'll get onto that in a second. Now, her primary weapon is the Rocket Flail. Now, this is 35 damage a hit. Uh, it's got a six meter range and she swings like once about every 0.6 seconds. Uh, you can't headshot with this either. Now, this is just her weapon, right? You just The idea with this is you swing it when you're in a fight. It's AoE, so it'll smash people in front of her. It's pretty good. Basically, um, all enemies within five to six meters away in, in kind of like a three meter side swing range, she will hit. So if you just swipe this thing around, you'll just start smashing everyone. So it's actually quite a good source of damage. Uh, it has a, an alternate fire, but we'll get onto that in a second. Now, repair pack. This is her burst heal, but also this gives you armor. So this gives you 150 health if you're not at maximum health, right? Or you're not 150 health, but basically, if you've got 200 health, right, and you've taken 100 damage and she throws this bad boy onto you, it will heal you for 100 and then give you armor over your maximum health, right? So its stats are 150 health up to 75 armor over max health, right? So that means if like if somebody's got full health you can throw this onto them and it will just give them 75 armor so you can use this in some very interesting ways so if you've got a widow maker that gets uh you know maybe she's at the back of your team and she's got a tracer starting to attack her you can turn around and throw repair pack onto her and it will give her 75 armor before she even takes any damage and that is huge like for a hero like widow that makes her extremely hard to kill for a tracer so then widow can start drawing back with the tracer it's absolutely huge and of course if she's taking damage you can turn around and throw it on her and it will give Give her health and then possibly give her bonus armor if she's not over like the, the bonus sort of margin for the armor to be applied so it's a really really good ability and the range of this is awesome right 30 meters the projectile speed of it we think is around about 30 meters per second so it's dead quick so basically you turn around and you can throw this it's not instant but it will pretty much hit the target you want within a second so it's really really fast so you can use it reactionary the bonus armor, though, only lasts for five seconds. This isn't permanent. You can't throw this onto somebody and be like, oh, yeah, cool. Um, now you've got 75 armor until it's destroyed. It doesn't work like that. And it's got a six-second cooldown. Also, the armor from Repair Pack can be stacked with other sources of armor. So Torb's armor pack and then Repair Pack, they stack on top of each other. And after chucking the pack, it will track its target until it makes contact. So essentially what that means is it will just 
like fly towards it. Like it's not like Torb's pack. Like some people can get a little bit confused and think, oh yeah, I'm sort of throwing down a pack for people to pick up. It's not like that. This aims towards the target and just uh, hits them. So wherever you want it to go, it goes towards them. It's almost like version 2.0 of Torb's armor pack because you throw that down on the ground, don't you? And you're like, guys, get it. You know, I want to give this to the support, but then the tank takes it or something. It's like, oh, Brigitte can just throw it on whoever she likes. It's not the same amount of armor as Torb's pack, and it doesn't last forever like Torb's pack does. This is only bonus armor, but its primary function is the heal. It is 150 health heal. It is absolutely huge. This is a great, great ability. Next up, we've got Whip Shot. Now, this is the extended attack from the Flail. This is the ranged attack from the Flail. Now, what's interesting about this is... I'll just go over the stats um, to begin with. So, it basically fires the mace forward, um, and it'll hit one target. Uh, it does 70 damage, so it's actually better than the, the standard melee damage of 35. Uh, the projectile speed's around about 40 meters per second. The maximum range is 20 meters, and it's got a four-second cooldown, and it does not headshot. Now, good thing with this is it... It's got a very, very strong knockback, so it can actually knock people back like crazy distances. I don't know what the distance actually is, um, but I've had instances where Winston would go to jump on me, and I just rocket flail him in the sky, and he'd fly back. It's like totally ridiculous. Um, the other thing this does is this procs Inspire. Now, Inspire is your heal, so if you don't have anybody around you to actually smash with your mace, so you can't trigger your 16 heals per second AoE effect, well, you can throw whip shot in. So you throw that in just to bash people and that will trigger the effect and you'll start getting the healing effect okay now it's not going to be as consistent as if you were involved in a melee where you're just swinging your flail around but it's actually going to give you the opportunity to use it so this has got a couple of different uses right what you can do with this is think okay i'm going to knock somebody back okay i'm just going to try and snipe somebody with a bit of damage to maybe get the kill on them because they're taking a lot of damage or i need my prop from inspire that's what makes this, ab this ability really really cool next up we've got barrier shield now this is her secondary fire and it is, well, a shield. It's like a mini Reinhardt shield. It's got 600 health. Uh, it's 100 shields per second after being down for two seconds, which is pretty fast regen on the shield. Um, and it's got a three second cooldown after it gets destroyed. Now, the thing with this barrier is, um, it is a little bit bleh, a little bit bleh. So it doesn't completely fully protect her at the front. This means at the bottom of the barrier, she can take splash damage. This means heroes like Pharah will absolutely destroy you because they're firing rockets around you and the splash damage normally hits you. Same for Junkrat. So you've got to be very, very careful of that, um, which isn't that great. But this is good because it gives her, well, 600 HP barrier, which you, you can throw in people's faces and be like, oh, don't kill me. And it does block a lot of damage. So it's pretty cool for that. Um, but yeah, it's barrier shield. But what this has got, which is interesting, is an ability called Shield Bash. So while you've got the barrier shield deployed, you can rush forward with Shield Bash. Now, this is an awesome ability. Think of McCree's Flashbang, because that is exactly what this is. This does 50 damage when it hits you, right? It's got a maximum range of 6 meters. It lasts for 1 second, the stun does, and it's got a 5 second cooldown. Now, the good thing about this is, when she brings up a shield... If anybody is coming close to her, so if she's getting attacked by like a Tracer or a Genji or whatever, she can smash them and it will interrupt whatever they're doing, right? Think of McCree's flashbang. So imagine if Genji's pulled his blade out, he just, well, smash you with a shield and then Genji's got no more Dragon Blade and he's just standing there looking all stupid. Uh, it's a really strong count to those heroes. You probably won't be able to just shield bash them and then kill them. You used to be able to uh, on the PTR, but they kind of changed that. You can still do a lot of damage to them, but you won't be able to instantly kill them. But what this does is it allows you to stop them damaging you and then you can start damaging them and then well you just won't die so somebody on your team will probably come back and help you that's why this is so so cool it's just like a really survivable type of support if you think of it that way um so obviously it knocks the target back as well uh, so when you hit them they don't stay stationary like they would with a flashbang it knocks them back a bit and then it stuns them for a second you can stun people like reinhardt so if reinhardt's charging at you you can smash him one thing you can't do though is you can't deflect or rather sort of intercept Doomfist rocket punch, he'll, he'll just punch you. And in fact, Doomfist is actually quite a strong counter towards uh, Brigitte. Uh, the effect of the shield bash can go through barriers and Genji's deflect as well. So be aware of that. Like basically Genji has a really bad time. Like Genji's having a bad time anyway, because Moira wrecks Genji and now there's another hero in the game which, well, wrecks Genji. So onto the ultimate ability. This is Rally. This is uh, a really good ultimate for initiating a fight. And that's generally where I would use it. So this gives you 30 armor a second up to 150 bonus armor. Now, the cool thing with this is... It will give you 150 bonus armor, 
And then if you take damage, it will then basically give you another 150 armor. So the way to use this is you pop Rally. It makes you move faster as well. So you rush forward. It's only got an 8 meter area of effect, we think, or 8 to 10 meters. Um, you'll start giving people armor really quick, 30 armor a second. When they start taking damage... Right? The armor will get destroyed, but because it's got a 10 second duration, it will continue to keep giving them armor. So they get maximum value out of this when you use it before a fight breaks out. So you rush into a fight, you take damage, the armor keeps getting replenished. You're basically, you're not invincible, but you're, you're pretty... Um, <laughs> like tanky when you've got loads and loads of armor. Everybody else is pretty tanky. You go forward and you just smash the enemy team and then you come back. It's really, this is a really, really, really good ability. Okay, let's talk about some ways and how to play this hero and what we should and shouldn't be doing. Now, unfortunately, the PTR has gone offline, so I wasn't able to capture specific footage of this. So this will be more of just like a brainstorming session. Um, now, this is not a tank hero, like I said at the top of this video. It's not a primary tank hero. It's an off tank because it can do a kind of defensive peel role. Now, what I mean by that is it can protect the support, but it's actually a support itself. But I don't really see in my head team comps where we've got a Brigitte and then let's say a Mercy and that's our support because I don't think she's going to provide that much healing like more healing than let's say a Anna would in that situation or a Zen or a Moira or whatever she's never going to provide that number of healing or that amount of healing but what she can do is protect the back line this is where or why I think we're probably going to see her used as like the off tank now you look at team comps like this imagine if you've got a Reinhardt main tank a Brigitte off tank, a Soldier 76, a Tracer, a Moira, and a Zen. In my head, that is a fantastically, fantastically powerful comp because we, for the first time in this game, got a flex tank which can support. So that's going to give everybody else around that tank a really good time, especially the Reinhardt. And she actually synergizes really well with the Reinhardt as well, which I think is going to be super, super powerful. So I think this hero, um, when Blizzard says she's a meta-changing hero, uh, possibly even like a meta-defining hero, I think she changes the game in a way we've not seen so far. Yes, she is anti-dive. I have had my reservations about her being anti... Uh, like, that, that just being her only sort of ability. Like, is she bad? Because... If you, if you take her on Numbani first point, you're using her on defense. The enemy team come out with dive comp. They dive onto your Brigitte. They're like, oh, they've got a Brigitte. So they just change their hero and then they come back with something which isn't dive and then they poke you from range and kill you. Like they roll a Farah, blow you away. Uh, they start poking you with a soldier. You know, any, anything with range, they start working you down with a Widow and you can't really do anything against that and then you're kind of screwed. You get starved for resources. You can't do anything and then she gets countered. But that's only if you're using her as a support, right? If you use her as a tank, I think it's completely different. So I don't know. Like, I go back and forth with this hero, and I'm like, is she kind of underpowered? Is is it easy to be countered? What's going on? I don't know. The more I think about it, I think she might fit into the game very strong as an off tank. All right, guys, I've been Salosa, and this is Unit Lost. This has been a basic introduction to Brigitte, who is the new Overwatch hero. She is playable today, only in quick play. She's not playable in competitive until May which is kind of crazy, but hopefully this gives you guys a bit of a better a better understanding of the hero and how to play her. Think of her as an off tank. Don't think of her as a primary support, and I think we'll be on to a winner. All right, guys, I've been Salo, so this is Unit Lost. If you enjoyed the video, then like the video. You can subscribe to the channel. You can follow me on Twitter, which is at Unit Lost Gaming, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Toodaloo.